Hey, it's Toki, and today we're checking into Signal Seoul. This five-star hotel is located in Lotte World Tower between floors 76 and 101, complete with a cute cafe, stunning restaurant, and incredible panoramic views. You can even see Lotte World and Namsan Tower in the distance. Let's go check out the room. This is definitely the nicest hotel we've ever stayed at. All right, let's check this out. This room is seriously huge, just beautiful. There's a nice desk that we can use. We have a mini bar in the corner here. And of course, you know how much we love our Nespresso's. They have their own custom Nespresso pods. And I think they said that this controls the curtains. Whoa, this is crazy. This is our view. That's the Han River in that corner over there. A ton of really tall apartment building. On the bottom right side, we have a small view of Sokchon Lake and more apartment buildings spanning for miles and miles. So here is the bathroom. Wow, it is stunning in here. All of the details, it looks so fancy. I love this giant mirror, ding! There's a pretty big bathtub. There's a little stool under here. This mirror looks like one that I can use to get ready in the morning. This is heaven. I'm gonna cry. This is amazing. I feel like I'm in a dream. <sighs> now we're in the Signal Soul Lounge area waiting for my parents to check into their room, which we gifted them for their 30 year anniversary. This lounge is gorgeous with plenty of yummy snacks and insane views. As soon as my parents check in, we'll be heading out to a chicken soup specialty shop, my dad's absolute favorite restaurant in Korea. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm so hungry. It's raining! Going without an umbrella. It's raining a lot more than we thought, but uncle had an umbrella, so we're fine. And they're buying an umbrella from that shack right there. They just bought an umbrella. It's raining so much. Where are they taking us? Oh, we found the grilled mackerel street. So much grilled fish here. And I guess we're here at Tinokwa Harme Takanmari for Korean chicken soup. <coughs> Wow, it's seriously so busy here right now. Wow, the soup just came out. There's an entire chicken in there. They're just cutting up the chicken for us. Oh my goodness. Wow, they're just cutting that up into bits. So the broth is flavored with chicken, spring onions. So first you add a spoonful of red pepper paste. And then you add some soy sauce. Then we're gonna add some vinegar. Vinegar. And finally, we're gonna add some kyoja, which is Korean mustard, like wasabi. And then you mix it all up. And that's your sauce. And you can do this to taste. And of course, all good chicken restaurants come with bomb kimchi on the side. My dad has been seriously raving about this restaurant. He's talked about his favorite chicken shop, about how delicious and how wonderfully flavorful it is. So I'm so excited to try it. And next, we're gonna throw the garlic into the soup just like this and just mix it around so that the flavor of the broth seriously soaks up all that garlic taste so as it starts to cook you're going to notice that there's some scum on the top you're going to want to skim that out while it's cooking just like how my husband is doing husband is trying his hand at skimming off some of that scum Ooh, and the broth is definitely getting clearer that's a good sign and now that the broth is pretty clear it's ready to eat And some soup for me. How's the soup? Oh wow, he says it's good. All right, let's try the soup. Wow, that soup is seriously savory. That soup is refreshing. That soup is herby. Oh my gosh, seriously, this is the best chicken soup I've ever had in my entire life. It's almost indescribable how good the soup is. And I'm gonna grab one of these to try. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Definitely probably put more mustard and vinegar than the average person, but I'm gonna dunk that in that sauce and try it. Dipping it into the sauce. Good. Husband's gonna try some of the kimchi here. The kimchi here is made in house and is their specialty. It's super fermented, so it's really sour and it's pretty spicy as well. In the stew, you'll also find some large potatoes. 
Husband's gonna try the potato. The potato has been really good here. It's perfectly cooked. It's really, really hot, so you gotta be careful. The meat here is seriously so juicy and so tender, and it soaks up all of that delicious broth in every bite. Wow, there is so much chicken and it's so good. It's gonna soak up all of that sauce. Also, they take actually like an entire chicken and they put it in the broth, right? So all of these pieces outside of the wing and the drumstick, I'm like, seriously, what piece are you? Yum, it's glistening. I'm actually a huge fan of the skin here as well. So many of you guys might not like it too much because it's a little bit gelatinous and fatty, but I love it. I think it goes perfectly with the texture of the other parts of the chicken. And of course, never forget to dunk it in that sauce. Get it all up in there. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Ha, ah, it's a piece I recognize. It's the drumstick. So delicious, succulent, juicy. My husband definitely knows how to eat. Um, and with the leftover soup, once we bring it to a boil again, we're gonna throw in some kalguksu noodles. And we order some kalguksu to add to the soup. And we just mix that around and cook the noodles and that leftover broth. That has all of that unctuous chicken savory flavor. And then we have to let it cook for about 10 minutes. Wow, it's totally ready now. All right, and we're just gonna dish up some of that kalguksu. Woo, look at all those noodles. The delicious kalguksu noodles from the chicken broth. And you gotta follow it with that kimchi. The sour and fermented kimchi with that soaked up noodle. He's happy. This kimchi seriously perfectly matches with that kalguksu. It's so perfect. We're finishing up all the noodles. Oh my gosh, seriously, the noodles are so good in this broth. Apparently you could also order dok if you wanted, but we are stuffed with this. Woo! Looks like we're clearing out the bowl today. Seriously, the best tasting noodles ever. Pair it with this kimchi. They're like best friends. Final bite. Woo! Clear. Happy belly. Wow, that was so good. Seriously, the best chicken soup ever. If you're looking for this place, just look for the Mackerel Street in Tongdaemun area. It's right next to it. Okay, we're gonna pick up some breakfast for tomorrow at the Crumb and Cross Artisan Bakery. I think I'm here for the matcha chew or stone chew. Or should we get the regular chew? Strawberry chew. <laughs> breakfast for tomorrow. We're back at the hotel. 